The world as we know it is changing. The movement has started. A work week that's shorter. Yes, it is in our future. Studies in Iceland, New Zealand, Belgium, Japan, and the UK show that productivity increases when people work less hours. In the UK, the average worker is only productive for three hours a day. Let's take a look at a story you have all witnessed. I'm sure you've all seen this guy who pretends to work all day, creating work for themselves to look busy, you know, busy work, marching around, acting like they are so, so busy. When asked, how's work today? Oh, I'm just busy doing work that no one needs or wants. Does this benefit a business, person, or society? About one century ago, the five-day work week was adopted. Since then, we have been talking about spending less time at work. Let's look at some historical statements. In the 1930s, John Maynard Keynes declared that technological advancement would bring the work week down to 15 hours within a century. In 1965, a U.S. Senate subcommittee predicted the work week would only be 14 hours long by the year 2000. Now, if we look at how society is today with the invention of artificial intelligence and innovation in general, automation frees up people to do new and more innovative things. For example, computers, the automobile, refrigeration, with all these inventions we have been able to create simply to innovate. These innovations have the idea of lessening our work weeks to make us more productive. Recently, countries like Japan, Germany, Spain, Iceland, New Zealand, and the UK have been testing out a 25 to 30 hour work week, and others have been experimenting with this idea. Yes, this idea works, and the catch is employees make the same as 40 hours per week. These countries are testing out the idea of a shorter work week. I ask you this question, with a shorter work week, what would you do with your time? Would you spend more time with family, friends, learn new interests? Imagine with the internet today and a shorter work week, you could learn countless skills, fun and professional. In Belgium, they passed a law to give employees the choice to work without loss of money for or continue with five days a week. The UK ran a six month trial of a four day work week it proved extremely successful. 70 businesses with 3,300 employees took part. The deal is they are held accountable to a 180 rule, 100% productivity and full pay for 80% of their time. Scotland and Wales will be joining the movement in 2023, basing their model after the UK's. Iceland ran these trials from 2015 to 2019, and they made it permanent. Now nearly 90% of their workforce adhere to this. Because of these changes, the workers have found that they have less stress and less burnout with an improvement in their life-work balance. Germany is starting to experiment with a shorter work week, and they now have the title of shortest average work week of 34.2 hours in Europe. Japan's large corporations are utilizing this. Due to their high level of overworked labor force, in 2019, Microsoft gave employees three-day weekends and saw a 40% increase in productivity. The U.S. and Canada are now interested in this, with 92% of workers in favor of a shorter work week. The perks are there for corporations. Happier, more productive employees. Imagine having six to eight hours per week back in your life. What would you do at that time? We do all this for money. Find out how we can live without money in this video.